key fob in this car is truly amazing. It's kind of the big crowd pleaser. It ties into a self-parking technology where you are not even in the car. You just press and hold on the LCD touchscreen on the key fob and the car parks itself in a space it identified. No one else quite has that in production yet. And you can also flip back and forth to see status screens of what condition your car is in, pre-charge the climate, see if it's got a certain electric or fuel capacity in it. The new 7 is going to offer laser headlights as well. Now, Audi got out there early on this with a limited production R8, but this is a real production sort of an introduction. Know that laser headlights aren't like some weapon in Star Wars aiming out into space and beaming at people. The laser doesn't actually escape the headlight module. It creates light within it, and then that's projected out. But the upsides on this are super low power consumption, incredible beam range, like double your current high beams, and these are tiny little laser modules, so they'll be able to give the stylist more freedom and less bulky headlight they have to accommodate. We've seen a lot of gesture control in cars lately at CES and at the auto shows, but BMW is really putting it on the street here with a variety of gestures for altering the volume, taking or declining an incoming call, uh, even turning the system on and off or going to navigation. There are three major gestures in this car, which isn't a huge vocabulary, but to see it actually roll out in a mainstream production car and on top of the previous knobs, touch screens, and voice command shows that we have an awful lot of choices for how to drive our center stack, but gesture may end up being a credible one of those. The HUD in the new 7 Series is said to be the largest in the industry, and that's an important evolution because the HUD needs to be large to really function well. You want to get it as close to your existing driving field of view as possible, and more size, more breathing room lets it do that. Plus, BMW already did the best HUD graphics in the industry, I think. They really use the space well. More of something good is even better.